Welcome back to Ellen Noir! On our previous episode, Cole and Roy were tasked with tracking down the source of all the army surplus contraband that seems to keep on resurfacing around Los Angeles. This week's episode of L.A. Noir is brought to you by the American Corn Syrup Association. Are your children looking malnourished and hungry for love? Well, what you need is corn syrup. Put it in bagels, cereal, baby formula, ice cream, rice. Inject it straight into your veins. Seriously, this is the stuff of dreams. When you're at the supermarket next, check that your products have corn syrup. Crime scene after crime scene. Produce nothing but bodies. Our case begins with a triple homicide on Hollywood Boulevard. The place is littered with bar machine guns, thousands of army surplus cigarettes, and, of course, morphine. But also hidden in a compartment of a trumpet case, we find a pass for the Blue Room. Cole and Roy know it well. Once down there, they interview German showgirl Elsa Lichtman without it really leading anywhere. But Cole feels the need to hang around and then follow her home. Upon being greeted inside by Miss Lichtman, we are made aware that Roy has had his suspicions and followed Cole. You see, in the background of this investigation, the top brass have been looking for a patsy, someone to take the heat off of an ongoing scandal. In a bid for power, Roy nominated Nate's call to be that patsy, and as the case progresses towards a conclusion, the brass bust in and shut it down, with Cole's extramarital affair on the front pages of all the local papers. He is then thrown out by his wife and demoted to the arson squad, a fate worse than death. So let's find out how our boy does this time. On L.A. Noir. The Gas Man! Sponsored by Chunky Charlie's Cheesy Chili. Get chunky, get chili. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. Yay, big seller. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? Oh, you pork that <laughs> fucking cigarette in your eyeball, you prick. Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. What? I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. Yeah, because they're burned to pieces, right? Ah, hell shoe. Ah! So it both. shouldn't take Same. long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. The fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find well, out. I mean, that is your job. Cole. Get out of here. That's quite literally Both your them. job. <laughs> get out. All right, mate. I'm Fuck, man. You, I don't even know you, stick. man. You're talking, you're giving me shit stick. like that, man. You know I'm the Phelps Meister, my son. Boxing champion. Taker of uh, uh, Hirohito. I took his moustache. I ripped it right off his face. Uh, you, you're just, mate, Herschel, mate. You're breathing down my neck, man. That's him. That's the cop. He tried to poke me in the nose. 
What, me? The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls live. <laughs> How long have you been working, Arson? We can do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. All right. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? I'll look somewhere else. Oh, we're gonna do the whole, uh... Oh, Scotty, get the... I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero. Walking into the station, chest puffed out, little kid at his confirmation. You wouldn't have given me the time of day. And now you need somebody, and that somebody's supposed to be me. Hey, all right, yeah, show me. It's not my fault. Fucking people don't like me, man. Maybe it's because you smell like cheese. There isn't much left. There never oh, is. Shit. Job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah. That's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. Uh, it's okay, Brannigan. Uh, his name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. <laughs> no offense, Phelps. <laughs> none taken. <laughs> Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. And they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? Man. In the car. It's one of their voices. Didn't burn down. Yeah, one of those here, a pile of rubble. Yeah. It's for GIs. That's the man in the house. That's nice a man of the house in the Roy's, eh? Yeah. his wife. I'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. All right, Steffi, boy. Mr. Hey, Stephens. Mr. Stephens, Cole Phelps and Big Herschel, LAPD. I know this is a bit, a bit fucked, right? But can we talk? Oh, Steph. Oh, I didn't know you were the Don, mate. All right. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Valid for three nights after date of issue. All right, so it's like, oh, you gotta go. No, you gotta go, 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 go. I mean, that's not, you can't just do that, <laughs> you know? Like, what competition's gonna give you like a, oh, you want an overnight stay, but it's tomorrow. Oh, fuck, you better get down there now. Can you tell me any more about that prize that you won, Mr. Stephen? Steffi boy. Weekend at Catalina Island. I, uh... Wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Okay. Did you enter any kind of competition? Well, my wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. The redevelopment fund, did they offer to buy you at any point? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. So then they just bombed your Houston. Seems a bit OTT to be honest, you know? I don't see any reason to doubt the guy. Surely, like you just got a thing, went out for a wee holiday, came back and his house was gone, so... Oh, uh, what? Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, something like that. Ah, uh, That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. <laughs> Alright. Alright, anyway. Okay, cool. So, uh, is it just that I need to go and call something in? Oh, man, shoo. Wow. Well, do you know what it'll be, right? We'll need to look at the, the heater at the back, because it did show a guy at the start with the wee intro cutscene that was messing about with one of those Insta heating, uh, heaters, boilers, whatever. So let me, let me have a wee, a wee look at that. Is there anything that resembles a boiler left on this pile of shit that used to be someone's life? Let's go and call it in. Right, get me the chief of police! Oh, that guy's face is creepy, man. Holy shit. How could I help, detective? You can join me in the bath, hen. Ah, hi. Herschel, stop listening to my phone calls. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Mm -hmm. Do you have an address for them? There is one. Hey, I want a phone. Corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Oh, I didn't catch that there. Some asshole. Oh, fuck. 
All right, never mind. What is this man? This is a guy. He done it. He's the one that done it. I know. I know that. That's the face of evil right there. If ever I seen it. What is that he's holding? Like, is it a big, a big torch? What is that? The guy's vape. He's got a vape the size of a fucking didgeridoo. That's Mr. Vape of Elysian Fields. All right. So, is there nothing to find here? I get that it is literally a burned carcass of a home. Uh, I'm not sure how much really meant. I mean, it's one of the staple moves of, you know, getting rid of evidence of a crime. Literally just setting it on fire. It does a good job of removing any and all evidence, so I'm not sure really how much of this is going to be worth looking at whatsoever. That son of a bitch looks a lot like the top of the gun. <laughs> Sounds like me. That <laughs> I cannot, like, you know, in good confidence uh, rule out that possibility that it was me. Let me see, let me check out this, uh, this lawnmower here, the height of technology. Look at that bad boy. Mate, you find anything good? Eh? Huh? You find... Did you find any snout, mate? Right, I'll give it one more sweep. And if I don't find anything, then we're getting out of here. Then that's bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Recently serviced, 47, by Matthew Ryan. Right, we're looking for a Matthew Ryan. He's our man. He done it. He, he blew up the house. Right, Mon. Again, I show up, I partner up with a guy, and then immediately I'm the one doing all of the work. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? You know what be a, an absolute prick about it, mate? All I did was shag some German butt. What's the fucking big deal? Everyone thinks I'm a fucking spy now or something. Ah, let's do it. We always want a wee, a wee cops and robbers side quest. Hands off, I'm sick. Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? What happened? Two guys made off with about a grand in a paper sack. The vag says he saw him leave. I'm right here, you know. Not much of a right, Bojos, you tell me where they went. Right now, or I'll give you a bath. They hit her for the parking lot. I'm just gonna steal some Rando's car. Didn't even try it. We could have totally stopped them. And the amount of time it took for us to get in this car and start it up, you could have ran up to their car. Don't leave me hanging out here, Phelps. Move in! Yeah, bitch! Oh, the tires help you, mate. The tires! Oh, yeah, bastard. Oh, he totally done me, man. Fucking camera. Get it away! But he bins materialising right in front of me, man. Completely sold me a, a dream. I bloody took the bait. Go, shoot, shoot, shoot the tire, mate. Like it was real well. Come on. I am doing it, mate. You I need to be close to Phelps. Yeah, see, I've got some solid hits, and he's still going. Oh! I, oh, I thought we just ramped on someone's fucking head there. Oh. Where is where is he off to? What the fuck? Alright, okay. Uh quite a ride you took us on. Get out with your hand. Mate, you really want might want to get out of that car. Oh shit, it's David Cameron. The pig fucker himself. Alright people, just to seamlessly insert this in here, uh, I've got some music at the end of the video by my wee brother's band, right, he plays bass in a band. Their music is really good, they've got a song on Spotify that they've put up recently and I would appreciate it if you would check it out. But also, it's at the end credits, so just stick about at the end, you know. Uh, leave a like if you're enjoying the video, also, yeah, let's get back to it. Show ya house fire, 1070 AM. Get my, my drink. Yes, Hi, Brewing is. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. Nice job. You have a pardon? 
What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of arson. Family of four found dead in their beds. Heater explosion. Yeah, Another one. Fuck. Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month to go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. That's, okay, that's might wow. be demonetization stuff, guys. Uh... Gonna the burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. Yeah, because you shagged the German bump. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Genuinely, I, I don't buy... I get that they were... Okay, let me get away from that for now. Right, I get that back in the day, people had a wee bit of... You know, there was a wee bit of iffiness about... There he is again. I see him again. Bastard. I know it was you. I know it was you, mate. Anyway, I They've got a real, like, weirdness about, you know, somebody cheating on his wife and that. But like, I don't think they, like guys in the department and that would have really gave that much of a fuck, really. Like, no, not at the point where they're actually like, oh, I can't, I'm not gonna shake your hand and, and shit like that, you know? Like, especially having it in a fucking newspaper, like it's some sort of cataclysmic event that this guy got his hold. No, no, I, I'm not, I'm not advocating, I'm not advocating that you dare that if you're married, you've got kids and all that, you know what I mean? I'm, don't take my words out of context. I'm just saying, is it really something that you would find in a goddamn fucking newspaper? <laughs> and also everyone be like, oh my god, they're acting as if you have like eaten a child and that's just not what happened, is it? He pumped a fucking stage performer. Right, well, we're looking for a heater again, aren't we? We're definitely looking for that heater again. There's not really anything else to look at. I mean, the house went on fire. It's hardly like they're gonna have bags of cocaine inside it and that's to somehow explain why it went on fire. Probably, I probably need to look at I do, I need to look at this. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? Is that it? Just... Okay. Yep. Didn't actually... Didn't actually have anything really to find out there. Just, you know, here's some dead kids. Have a look at that. That's pretty fucked, right? Yep. There's a free football. We're not gonna... We're not gonna be using that. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, here, Herschel! You wanna play catch? Listen, it's a spare ball. It's just... It's a spare ball. That's all I'm saying. That guy objects. Where's the duck? Is there a deep duck? It's probably in the house, isn't it? It's, yeah. That's fucked up, man. We need justice for the duck. So I care about. Hey, get out of my way, you. Hey, right, hold on. Where would they have their Insta Heat gas heater uh, box? So, like, they want to move people off the property, to build the houses. They want to buy their, their land. If they don't sell, then they just burn their house down. Then what? Do they pay less? Surely you would still need to buy the land. What happens if they build another house? You set that on fire as well? I've got to say, this is probably the least, like, fun part of this game, is the, uh, searching for the clues in a crime scene. But, uh, it's good for the first couple of minutes. Not so much in this case, because, you know, dead kids and all, but, like... Oh. But, like, you know, but then it always descends into this, where it's like, okay, I don't see anything immediately obvious to me, so I need to kind of search around for one specific little thing amongst this pile of smouldering shit, and I need to find one specific smouldering piece of shit and look at it. Where the fuck is your heater? There's some. What am I looking at? Wow. Um, is this? Please tell me this is relevant. Hey, hey is this significant? That's what, what I was looking for. A tiny Good thing fine. like that. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They want a trip somewhere. 
But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the company? Pretty high, I Fellas think. Just traveled up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Oh, they just gotta chase him. Hey, that guy me. likes fire. Fucking gal. He likes fire. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. Stop. Hey, LAPD. Hey. Somebody hey. check hey. out man in the boat. Right get him. Get him. Go, go. Engage turbo mode. Engage it. Engage the turbo mode. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got NOS, mate. You don't know about NOS. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. Oh shit, he's got fire in his pockets, boys. Cuff him. Oh. You're naughty boy. Aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. You just have that ready to go? It looks like it would take literally seconds to assemble this. So why would you carry it around ready to go like that? <laughs> it really makes you look pretty bad. <laughs> the fuck? Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You light this fire, Herbert. Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. The fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, oh, fucking whole family died, search. you weirdo! I have a theory about this. We'll do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, detective. Just look that man up. Well, Lock him up. Such a hard on for this case. If it is murder. It's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Everyone's it always going to fight back against There's you. something to this. I'm not going to do what I'm going to work any harder than I was before. Now that you're here. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession. Bitch, there's a fucking dead family over there. Case. I'm going to rub the department's nose in it. Help me. Or stay out of my way. You got it? Yeah, put him in his place. Imagine being so resistant to investigating further into a dead family's fucking house fire. Like, what the fuck? Everyone's so resistant to, like, doing any work. It's like they've just been doing the, the rusty uh, way of working where they've just been coasting and not bothering not ass for years. Then Cole shows up and he's like, maybe we should do some investigative work. They're like, ah, fuck, we don't do that around here. <laughs> Every time. Right, travel agency or suburban redevelopment. No, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to them first. I'm probably gonna regret this, but I'm gonna go to them first. I got a feeling that we're gonna, we get a bit more information from the heater people or whatever. And then we'll see about those uh, weird holidays. Oh, we can't do a side quest. It was about to give me a side quest there. Literally, it's around the corner, apparently, to go to this place, so that was convenient. Ah, these are all new build homes, aren't they? Right. Elysian Fields, development site, 10.41 a.m. Sat this is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? Mm. I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Oh, was that Elysian it? are investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Damn, don't forget the fucking evidence, mate. Honestly, man, have you got an appointment or something? This guy's dying to get up the road to catch his favourite fucking soap opera on the telly. Or on the radio, probably, since it's like 1947. Nobody's got a fucking telly. Except the real uh, rich bastards, you know, they got tellies. I feel like Herschel is more the, the stoic type, doesn't say very much. He's just riding shotgun, chilling, hoping to get off his shift. He's got a fucking burrito in the fridge. He wants to go home and eat it. Call of his travel agency, 11 a.m. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We are easy to believe a Sawyer family of Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by Hughes. And then you it's bumped the Houston? They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. 
Very unfortunate. Yeah, he's a swat chat up. What? Right. Family of three flying by boat. By flying boat, alright. I was gonna say flying by boat. <laughs> what? <laughs> to Catalina Island. Two by ferry to Catalina Island. Why are you flying three and, and ferry and two of them? They just don't like the planes. They're like, no, cancelled. Sawyer, bang, there it is. The Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. And yeah, what was the name of the other ones? Just get yeah, a good part, right? Here they are. Ah, there they are. Stephens. <laughs> yes, I remember. Fucking hell, not having a drink, mate. <coughs> so throat. If I needed a mannequin for the store window, I'd buy one. Mate, I'll have a drink. Along now. Shut the fuck, I'm the police. Mate, I will, you will sit there as long as I sit here, alright? I'm having some iron brew and you're gonna shut the fuck up and wait, alright? Ah. Oh. <coughs> right, here we go. Right. <coughs> suburban redevelopment. Tell us about a suburban redevelopment fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. Uh. There's not much to go on here, really, is there? Wait, why? How much business do you do with suburban? You got a kickback or some shit? Oh, so now you're accusing me of taking kickbacks from realty developers. You have some way of proving this, detective? Not really, no. Don't! So you don't believe that it's suspicious that a guy who doesn't want to sell his house wins some holiday tickets, and while he's away, his home burns down? To me, it just sounds like really bad luck. It's not like everyone who wins a prize gets their house set on fire, officer. I'm, I'm told the tickets were a prize, were they? Yes, they were. Do you give out loads of these prizes? Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... So while they were meant to be at El Catalina, their house burnt down and you consider them lucky, eh? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Wait, he already knew it burnt down before sure. I told him, or did I tell him? Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Hmm. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. I just wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. <laughs> Poorer, but great. <laughs> Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Does he know? Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people in the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. Learn something about fires. Ambulance shooting. That sounds extreme. Let's get involved. I'll show my son. Let's spice up this morning. How far away is it? All the side quests are so far away. Right, Herschel, you're driving, mate. You're driving. I like how he says ambulance shooting like that's a fucking normal thing. Ah, I've got another one shooting up an ambulance. Call 11K, ambulance shooting. Meet the officer at the interstate bus station at Beverly and Union. Alright, let's make a dramatic entrance. KGI no, it slowed me down. I was going to do a big skid, man. What's the situation? Alright, what's happening? Some stick-up boys lost their heads and a girl got shot. We have to move fast, sir. There are still people inside. Well, why are you waiting out here? Oh, Jesus. If you were already here, why didn't you just go and do something about it? You just run in there. Herschel, mate. This Herschel guy's a madman. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Get a capsule. Oh, I nearly shot that man in the head. Should have got my big gun for the car. Oh! Get away, you daft bastard! Oh, I got so lucky I never shot anybody in there, man. Subdue the remaining sort of those more. Get out, get out, get out. Yes, get away. Oh, alright, mate. Was a bad day for you. What? I shot that guy fucking four times, man. Fuck's sake, man. That guy would have looked like Swiss cheese by the end of that there, but he was still standing. 
Fire station number 32, 11.29 a.m. We came as I soon as we this could. this town is going straight to hell. Okay. Lynch. Biggs? Are you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire... I deal in facts, Phelps. All right. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it so, we're listening. I deal in facts, Phelps. Okay, Phelps, you're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Oh, oh, hold up. Try to have a twix. All right, we've all of a sudden been hit with us. This, this uh, puzzle. What do I do exactly? <laughs> like, um, Good, your regulator's in position. Is that the right combo? I just guessed. <laughs> no, no, don't do that, you fucking dick. You can just attach things by placing it. And it's just bang, it's in. No tools required. It's because coal the is gas a tool. bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's gonna ignite. Okay, I'll light your pilot. Turn the gas on. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Alright man, warn me when you're gonna do that! So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. I know. You know this chap in here? I know who he is going bang in the night. Oh, I'm saying. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Other than he's a creepy bastard, likes fires, and was at a house fire being a creepy bastard. I don't know, man. Seems conclusive. Open and shut case, as Rusty would say. Brother! Did he just say. Did he just say brother? Brother! I don't know, man. This company comes up quite a lot throughout this game. Usually, when that happens, if someone appears on Cole's radar too many times, it means they're probably murdering people. LAPD detectives, ma'am, we need to speak to somebody in charge, eh? Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Racic. You should find him in his Mr. Racist? Because uh, Cole, Cole's dyslexic, you, you know? <laughs> Mr. Racist, which one? Are you a racist, then? You're not a racist oh, manager. Sort of Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, that's the same one that was out on the crime scene model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Yeah, no one, everybody finds out that they've been used to I'll fucking kill whole families and shit. All right, mate, it's a coal man. I'm here to talk to you about hussies burning down. What can you tell me about this bullshit? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Yeah. Let me take a look. Mm -hmm. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. I've seen you before. I've seen you before. I know yeah. your face. We could do this some other time if you're not feeling well. No, hold on, man. You're in, like, Better Call Saul or something. I know this man's face and it's annoying me, but, like... It is Better Call Saul, isn't it? I can't place you exactly, though. Shit. 
Maybe Breaking Bad? Oh wait, it's Jesse's dad in Breaking Bad! Isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me this isn't a manufacturing fault or a service repair or any of that shit? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You're telling me you've never had any problems with this heater, boy? You've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still in there! <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Ah. If it's that easy to, like, burn the house down, you literally just take, like, one thing out of it and the whole house explodes. <laughs> it seems that's a slight design oversight, mate. Slight, you know. Maybe people are building meth labs in them, eh? Maybe that's what it is, eh? Are these diaphragms prone to fucking up? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters. They're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I'm gonna say lie and see what the evidence we've got. Sick. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you gonna prove that, detective? I don't Maybe think I one can. of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. I'm gonna say that's what I, I, the one with the Ryan on it. He did like most of the servicing, so I think he would be okay. But I'm just guessing, really. Aye. What about Reginald Varley? You know about Varley. Oh? He's on the run for a divorce interstate. It's not so bad. Divorce in the interstate? Habit of hiring criminals, Rizzi. What the fuck does that mean? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I want you to give me a copy of the list of your installers, your ball bag. Okay, I'll get it for you. Housing business is going crazy oh, at the moment. Wish I could afford that. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. Matthew Ryan's on now. I want to run it by R&I. Cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Operator, give me dispatch. Operator. Why, why give me, give me dispatch. Oh, fuck it. Just edit out. <laughs> hey! Phelps, badge you. 1247. Whoa! The hell was that? How could I help, detective? <laughs> I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter. Previous conviction for arson and malicious she takes damage. Fast. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. All right, cool. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder. Oh, all right. Play bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Huh. Okay. Straight Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Right, here, shoot. Uh, are we going? No? Oh, great, right, we're talking again. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Well, you could just say no. You just, you, you literally just said there. Like, you need a warrant for this shit. All you need to say to them is like, you're going to date and I'm going to slap you. And that's it. Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Yeah, Mr. Racist. I'll be this one that's illuminated nice for me. Matthew Ryan, Ernesto Avocado. Because, you know, dyslexia is part of my, my repertoire now. Anyway, uh, whoop, okay. That's a lot of law documents of some kind. The fuck? Some light reading on the merciless Anarchist capitalist machine. Essay. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Yeah, we can't be having that now. But can we see that? Can I, 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 don't, I want to see, can I read any of this shit? Road between two villages is impassable. The peasant says there should be a law about 
Polish roads, parish roads, parish roads. If a park keeper takes advantage of the want of spirit in those, I'm bored. I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm done. The anarchy is not for me. We like law and order around here. Hey, listen. Anytime they bring up a guy who's like maybe sort of, you know, not not uh, in agreement with the way things are in the U.S. at this moment in time, they take that shit. Very seriously. Uh, that guy's an anarchist. I guess he just wants to tear everything down. Set fire to shit. I mean, that's what he's literally doing. Oh, he's got one. Okay, so everyone's into this anarchy pish. Is that all we needed? Is like, oh yeah, no, the, he, well, he loves the anarchy. There was a third. Reginald. What a name, by the way. I, I wish I was called Reginald. <laughs> oh, the company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Lapels, mosquitoes. Barley oh. has a problem with bugs. Mm. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, racing? Uh, no, I, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Uh, I feel like that last guy, what was the last one? That was Reginald, wasn't it? We're going to Varley. Let's go to Varley first. Okay, so I guess we're not even choosing where we're going. It's just going to thrust us into whoever this is. All oh, right, is that what it is then? We, we better guess quick. Oh shit, it was Reginald Varley, wasn't it? I'm going to go with him. Varley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. I say we take oh. the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. Are you nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. Oh shit, he's real old. No, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. Ooh, that's what we do, right? It would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. Ooh, U.S. Marines. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. I'll just look Six down eight pier. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa! Hey. Bitch, you will be popped. You will be popped, bitch! We're gonna, no, I'm gonna get him. We're gonna take him alive. I need to know what the fuck's going on. He's gonna get somewhere and then start shooting at me, and then I'm gonna have to kill him. Jump here! What the hell? No, why did we stop? What was that? Right, cheers, man. Good timing. You run all the way from Michigan, Reginald? Guys, somebody grab that quick! Come on, 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 how am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, you're a guest of the city. Arson? You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. It may have been the wrong guy. No, it would have been the wrong guy because he was on a work site and the other guy was going to work on an actual, like, an old building that he's going to set on fire. Oh, wait, it's around the corner. All right, that works for me. I think he would have saw what just happened. That man's creepy face. It's just, it's just, I don't want to see it anymore. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs. Arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. I'll just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Don't Hold you? Hold it, Ryan. 
Don't you get in there, but you're foxy! Oh my god! <laughs> you almost flipped it! He's a one man fighting for! Move in! I'll take out the bear! I didn't poison dodgy bastards down here! Oh my god! Whoa! Okay. Kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Oh my God. <laughs> Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. I'm going to get me closer. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. I'll go for the tires. That ought to yeah, go for the tires. Why are you shooting the back window if you're going for the tires? Oh. He's got an arson related assault charge and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We gotta get this guy in the room before we can get an angle on him. This man oh, has nearly. got to be stopped. Yeah, boy! Oh my god! There we go. That, you, you happy with that? Cool. There, we stopped him. Where the hell's he gone? Right. Right, you. Get your ass out of that Give piece it of shit. LAPD! Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared! You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? <laughs> because I was off the charts, man! You're running! You're committing a series of arsons. That's just what happens, you get spooked, you just you just run, it's like an automatic reaction, you know? Especially when it's the LAPD, you don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. Cole Phelps is there. They're like, oh shit, I better run. This guy shagged out German woman once. The officer, a hit run felony at 6th and Alvarado. But I'm out busy, guys. We got enough on our plate, as is. Like, I do want to do a lot of those side quests, right? But, like, you know, we're kinda in the middle of a sensitive situation. I don't want this man to run as if it's gonna change things. If it waits, I don't know. Hey, I don't know. It might. This game's weird like that. It does shit like that sometimes, I think. Or at least it gives the impression that it will do that. <laughs> right, here we go. This will be whoever we saw in that little cutscene. It'll already be on fire, right? I will arrive just in time to watch it. Fucking. Oh, shit, sorry. Aye, it's this guy, innit? <laughs> just mad at We want some answers and we want them. <laughs> Woman. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. You know Reginald Varley? No. Can't say I do. What do you mean, no? You fucking what with him, you lying prick? This guy's got a lazy eye or some shit. I don't know what's going on with You have him. a real viper's nest that insta heat, don't you? Arsonists, murderers, or communists. What's that got to do with me? You can't prove I'm behind hey, all that. It was anarchy, though. It wasn't communism. Is that not a different thing? You just want to just wanna destroy government, right? That's different from commies. I mean, yeah, you've got you've got the anarchist thing. It's got to be that, right? You got you got a pamphlet from the other guy. Look, what? I've been cooperative. How about letting me get back to work? How's that no work? Is Ryan the other one that ah uh, Ryan might may have been the other one that had I, I may I got that mixed up there. It might be the other one that I do for that. You're licensed well, and work for Instaheat. I contract for them. So what? So what, man? Eh. Meh. Ask a community, let's see. Oh, it's just doubt. Right, okay. Is hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. It seems but a bit I had to, house, to do that. My fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded in settlement. Mud shark? She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> so weird. That fucking whore. Fucking whore sucking dicks all up and down the street. I burned that shit. Fuck him. And he's like, yeah. All right, handshake. <laughs> what the fuck? What's up with your name tag, mate? Hey, Frank, you look like you haven't got a clue. That N is huge, man. Let's <laughs> get over that. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. Yeah, no nah, bullshit, mate. Fucking bullshit. I'm gonna do your fucking liar. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. Yeah. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? Ah, bitch, no. We already violated your rights, so we have the evidence. This wouldn't be admissible, though, right? You wouldn't be able to use that 
in court because literally you just buzzed in and opened his locker. Right, it's got to be, innit? We found a pamphlet in your locker, you prick. We can add your name to that register, you know what I mean? That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. Yeah, but He's got you, just said, the company. you just said you didn't know who he All was. Right, Clemens, you're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. I just yeah, listen. Guy. This place burns down later. I, I know how to blame. All right, I will. I will kick you in the balls like harder reach, than you could I ever imagine. I can't. You. The name Herschel oh, just reminds me of The Walking Dead. It just makes me angry. <laughs> nothing. Nothing that reminds you of that show is good. Right. Let's take a wee poll in the comments. Did any of you guys actually finish that piece of shit of a show? I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs. What? Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Listen, you talk to me like that again, mate. They'll be picking bits of your teeth at your own asshole. All right. I'll make that happen. Right, Moan. All right, Bob Ag. Save yourself some time now. and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. All right. I will. So you want to change the world, do you, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your wee bit? Yes, I am. Does that include burning families, does it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm. Which this one is had... industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all Who had the campaign. mosquito thing? you delusional detective. That was Clemens, right? You think you can sweat me like this? Keep dreaming, copper. Oh, mate, I'll sweat you in the fires of hell. Sorry. Uh... So Insta Heat is to blame for all of your problems. Shit! I didn't say that. Well, what did you say then? Tell me more! Fuck, you don't just cross out and move on, man. Do some fucking police work. Slap them up upside the fucking head or something. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater, mate? No, I don't. No? How? That's your job, mate. You should know these things. How do you not know these things, mate? If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? That you know how to do your job? What? I think it's a, a doubt on this one. I think it's got like to be I a made doubt. A and doubt. You expect me to believe that, oh. Ryan? I can do it myself. Believe whatever you want, Flatfoot. You're part of the conspiracy. Huh? What do you mean by that? What are you talking about? What can you tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? I'm really lost here, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what to, I don't know what to actually... Ah, oh, maybe that would have been the ease of the pressure valve thing might have been for the last one. The, the longer I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm thinking maybe that could be it. But like when I'm looking at it originally, I have no idea what to fucking pick. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Oh, okay, we got something. We got something out of this fucking shit. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. I ah, see one of the few You're things lying. we actually know for a fact. And how exactly are you gonna prove that? Why would you think they couldn't? Why would you actually think the cops wouldn't know you had a criminal record? You can't just say no, I don't have a criminal record. What are you talking about? It's the cops, they have the record? Like, what? Why is this even a fucking question? You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. Oh, what? All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would mm. you do? Which company? Asbestos Water Heater Company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. I think Ryan is our man. But procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Yeah, room two. Where's room two? They're both this way. Here we are. Some moody lighting for you, my man. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. <laughs> all right then. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? 
Family by the name of Sawyer. Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm, I'm flat out on new installations. That's pish because you serviced the, the boiler? Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with wrecks like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Well, because your name is on the fucking heater, you daft prick. Okay. You got me there. Why is your lie then? You should Suburban? know that! Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer oh. kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him though, because he still wouldn't sell. They got pissed off and then just bumped his house down. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? You're crazy! I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that. that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? It's got to be that, right? It's got to be that. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Well, oh, hang on. Ah? Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker's full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, the other guy's giving off strong vibes and <laughs> all that he might be the guy. The other guy was very pissed off about his whole family being burned though. So would he go then and do it to other people? I don't know. Uh, shit. Now nah, I'm going with you. Barley, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. I'm no cold-blooded criminal. I could never bring up a whole family in their home. I don't know, I'm still suspicious of the other guy, though. How is it, no, just keep your mouth shut and listen uh, to me for a second. How is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station, conduct extensive interviews, sift through mountains of evidence with Lynch and Pinker, and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy? Oh, shit. I took a chance on you, Phelps. People said I was crazy, and you made me look like a jerk. You may not be much of an arson investigator, but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Get going. Oh, no. <laughs> we fucked it up. <laughs> Damn it, man. The other guy probably was too. Was proper obvious. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. We done fucked up, boys. The case against Barley looks dangerously thin for a man facing four counts of murder. I mean, the other, yeah, I guess the other guy being like a goddamn anarchist and all the rest of it was a giant red flag, you know? <laughs> Maybe I should have just just him, you know, but, uh, uh. <laughs> it's time to slip this ball and chain Because I need to be free again It ain't you that I'm looking for, and I know. I know. But I need enough, I need enough, I need enough. But I need enough, I need enough, I need enough. I won't get up. You've just gotta go away Cause it ain't me that you're looking for And I know 